Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to solve January daily lead code challenge. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up, right? So here's what the problem says. Delete columns to make sorted. So the problem is you are given an array of n strings, strs, all of the same length. The string can be arranged such that there is one on each line making a grid for example stars equal to abc bce cae can be arranged as abc bc cae basically hamare paas kya hai we are having a strings that can be arranged one on each line so from here you can see where we were having this uh, array right and we arranged these strings in columnar way okay or uh, making a grid like that abc bce cae right now what we have to do is we have to delete the columns columns they are saying okay columns like this a b c b c a c e a c e e okay these are the columns so what they are saying is that uh, we have to delete the columns that are not sorted lexicographically in the above example you can see zero indexed columns a b c column zero at column zero we have a b c at 2012 at 2 we have c e e okay so a b c is sorted c e e is also sorted but b c a that is not sorted so that's why we'll be deleting column we'll be deleting one column that is b c a okay so basically we have to return the count of the columns that we'll be deleting and what columns will be deleting that are not sorted lexicographically so basically we have to find out the columns which are not uh, sorted lexicographically we have to find the count and that's what we have to return so here's the example as well so you can see these are the strings we are having in esters so cba de daf ghi so cdg this is sorted a f i this is sorted but b a h this one is not sorted so there is one column that will be deleting so the count will be returning is one then we have uh, a and b right we have so the grid is as follows a b so here you can see we are just having one column which is sorted so we will be returning zero then we have uh, z y x w v u t s r right these are the uh, strings that we do have now here z w t that is not sorted y v s that is also not sorted and x u t x u r that is also not sorted right so we we'll, we have returned all these three columns hence the count would be 3 so how you will be solving it the problem is easy only so basically what we have to do is we have to uh check for each column right so basically we need two loops the outer loop uh, till when we'll execute it depends on what see first we'll be going through this column first column second column and third column like that right uh, in the terms of indexes if i would say so zeroth index first index second index if i would have um, one more column also here so basically it is depending on what it is depending on the length of the strings right that we do have in this isters and the length of the strings is same only right so outer loop will be depending on the length of the strings length of the words that we do have in this isters then what we have to do the next execution you got to know the outer loop in the inner loop we have to do this comparison we have to check what we have to check we have to check that uh, let's say you if i'm talking about this column cdg so we took we chose this c right or we chose this d okay now we'll be comparing this d with the previous character which is at the uh, which is in this row this is at the this zeroth column right so we'll be comparing this so uh, like what we'll be comparing we'll be comparing if this d this d should not be less than that of the previous character which we have seen in this column so is d less than that of c no right okay then what we'll be doing will be progressing further with g and we'll update the value of previous character with d so g we are going to compare with d so again we'll be checking if this g is less than that of d no right no right so this is in sorted form only then next we'll be coming to this column 
so again we'll be starting from this element from uh, like basically when you will start right in the inner loop we'll be starting it from j equal to 1 till the length of what till the length of what like in that case what length we are going to consider okay we are going to consider uh, yes tell me what is the length that we are going to consider like for the outer loop we took the length of the words now for the inner loop we are going to consider the length of this is stars, right? The length of this is stars. So how many uh, values basically we do have here? Three, right? Okay, so this A we are going to compare with the previous character, which is B. So you can see A is less than that of B. It means it is not sorted, right? It is not sorted. Right there itself, we can uh, we will be taking one variable to keep track of the count, the columns that needs to be deleted. So we'll be up, uh, updating the value. We'll be incrementing the value of count. And we'll be breaking the loop. Why? Because uh, it doesn't make sense to progress further, right? Because we got to know that it is not sorted, right? Then we'll be ch uh, checking for the next column like that. Okay. So I hope you understand the logic that we have to use for solving this problem. So let's see the code part now. So here's the code uh, for the logic that we just discussed. So first we'll be having one variable to keep track of the columns that needs to be deleted. The outer loop. Uh, will be executed depending on the length of the words length of the word e because the each word is having the equal length only in this strs array right and then the inner loop we are initializing this with j equal to 1 and this will execute till the length of this strs so if it is it is having three elements so here it would be j less than 3 like that right now the current element because we have initialized j with one so where the current element we are going to compare with the previous element right so let's see here what we are doing is it stirs j dot caret i so means at the first row at the first row we are taking the character at which is at the zeroth index and that we are comparing that we are comparing with the character at the zeroth index which is at the which is at the okay so here first row i mean uh, at the first index and here zeroth index so at zeroth row at zeroth column whatever the character is that we are comparing with the character which is at which is at first row zero uh, first row and zeroth index okay for example like that okay if you if you are getting confused so here we have t right here we have t and here we have u let's say right so this t is at which index if i will ask you zero zero right and this is at one zero means one is the do and zero is the column so that's what we are comparing one zero element we are comparing with the element which is at zero zero index right because d is currently one and i is zero here j minus one we are doing it means zero zero okay so if the element at one zero if the character at one zero position is less than to the character at um zero zero position means this means what that it is not sorted if it is not sorted that it means we need to delete this column hence we are incrementing the value of count is count plus plus and also we are breaking right because no need to progress further we got to know that it is not sorted right so like that the logic is like that the implementation is i hope you got it uh, i have provided the code as well in the description thank you so much for watching guys um bye bye everyone